Hello everyone. Welcome to Fast Track on Hell Global. I am Samik Sen. Joining us today, Mr. Amit Nayak, also known as the Viking Grunt, is a talented Konkani rapper with his impactful lyrics. He has made a name for himself in the Konkani music industry. First of all, thank you so much for uh, taking out this time for us. Welcome to Hell Global. Yeah, thank you for having me. So, uh, let me begin by asking you how did it all start? Actually, it happened happened like an accident. I I used to be a mining engineer long back, and oh. soon after the mining ban, uh, we were terminated from our jobs and all because all the mines were shut in Goa, right? So after that, uh, just to ease my whatever pain or frustration, I thought of like trying my learning guitar first, and then after learning the basics, I thought of like creating something of my own, and luckily it got clicked because. konkani rap that time was like uh, it was not that much familiar no one was actually trying it out because rap culture was not even integrated was yet to be integrated in goa so maybe i was the first so i got the response a good response many one thing led to another actually sure very clear yeah, accident okay so what was the inspiration behind the name baking ground actually uh, when we were when i was learning guitar that time uh, i wasn't much familiar with the cox progression for proper cox progression you know? sure. so whatever we used to create that was not sounding great to be honest okay so okay. it was more like a grunt grunt is like an unpleasant sound no sure. so uh, and our songs were focused on the social issues we on okay. the social issues of uh, uh, society or whatever the people are facing so we joined those together waking grunt we called ourselves Because anyway, the music was not good that time. But uh, the audio quality was also not good because there were no resources. We we were learning now about how to record, how to master the tracks, and all. So that is how Waking Grand came into like existence. Okay, okay. So you just mentioned about social issues. So were there any message? Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, is there any message in your mm-hmm. rap, in your music? Yeah, no. We we make songs on potholes, garbage. spitting in public sure. then again child labor unemployment okay. we we try to convey each topic in one rap song okay. and if the songs were taking a lot of time the original music takes a lot of time for audio and video then we used to make parody songs a famous okay. track because that was easier to make and spread the uh, uh, message actually so in between okay. we did that also okay so how has been your association yeah. with the konkani film industry Konkani film industry. When I was, um, when we were like popular with our tracks, some of the Konkani Konkani film industry is yet to get the recognition. No, so it was it is still booming, but it is yet to be there. So okay. they asked me like, uh, that there is a segment and would you like to be a part of that? So I couldn't say no because other your love for your mother tongue is different. No, <laughs> I cannot just say no. So I I I I I've been a part of um, Kesta de Kofusa movie of Rajdeep uh, Rajdeep Naik, then again Pedro Padir movie of uh, John De Souza. Sure. Then uh, also there is a multilingual then multilingual film Welcome Millions, and it okay. also contested for the nineteenth uh, Academy Awards and was released in Los Angeles actually. Okay. Um, Welcome Millions. In that also my snippet of song was there. Yeah, so yeah, it was different. Oh, that's really nice. Was different. <laughs> okay, so how did the idea of Lofre come into you? I mean, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, Lofre, right? Ah, Lofre, Lofre, Lofre. So okay. basically, what ha- what is happening in Goa is because of the unemployment and the frustration. Like how you see a road rage in Delhi, because okay. people are in a different state of mind. They are frustrated, and whenever they feel, get a chance to like fight, they can't resist. similar thing in is happening in goa because of the growing unemployment and uh, and the lag and the migrant the tourists and all who are coming in and there are drunk scenes and all happens no so there be nuisance on the road and all and ev- in every locality you see the thing only goans know about in every locality there are there is a local gang no of young youths and all And 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 there there are many many cases where in uh, gang wars happens and okay. because of one single incident they ruin their life. So even one incident was like that. It happened like to a friend of mine, and it was really brutal. And because of that, he 
had to like serve in prison sentence and all and it was really really uh, hurtful for us also and more hurtful for his family you know his yeah. whole life will be ruined you know, once he is sentenced so i thought of making a song uh, called love again meaning telling you not to get educated because if you control yourself in that moment your whole life is safe but if you, if you want if you want to prove yourself or as if you are the one and you are, nobody can beat you up or whatever True. then it, 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 everything has consequences no of course we, we we tend to fear our ego we tend to fear our pride and then we fight but then again if we hurt someone badly then <laughs> the next day on works things change no of course yeah and that's so that was there and many people responded well and and that that was the only song meaning that was the starting of my journey wherein uh, people who didn't didn't understand konkani started to recognize like konkani uh, is in the hip hop culture like in bombay pune those people were messaging trying to meaning telling me to translate the lyrics and send them because they understood the message somewhat but they wanted to have a better uh, understanding, understanding of the track Sure, that was a good indication. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so as a musician, collaboration versus competition. Mm. What is best for music? What do you believe in? I think collaboration is better in order to uh, get a wider range of uh, audience for you. Because compete, if you if you compete with, since the time we are born, since the first time we are put into school, we are competing against each other. No. only the okay. first three rankers in the class is respected rest all are considered average no but if you collaborate if you give everyone the equal opportunity then the whole class is going to succeed no we don't need leaders we don't need one or two leaders we want everyone to be leaders no and that is how the community grows the language grows the nation grows It's simple fact so yeah competition is one part keep you motivated but collaboration helps you grow unitedly no so yeah collaboration Okay, so how has rap as a genre evolved over the years, according to you? Uh, I think rap was always there, but then again, no one tried their own way of doing it. Meaning, it is a form of expression, basically. Every rapper has a story to tell. No, every song has a meaning. Some are commercial, some that is a different case. But I think for me, uh, rap is more connected to the emotions of uh, whatever uh, the artist, and so, I feel. Um, in goa or in india in the late uh, 2050 after the gali gang movie i think it got flourished like from ref light and yes, center yes, even in goa it happened you just have to uh, exp- know to express well and that is what rap is all about no you don't so, have to uh, in, if you want to be a musician you want to buy the instrument but then they are they you have to go to the teacher meaning the Uh, prof- to learn the instrument and on and it costs money everything is business no education also has become a business when in rap if you learn to express yourself in words only you can actually have a good opportunity you know, to show, showcase your talent so yeah <laughs> it is booming let's see how it goes okay so uh, what was the inspiration behind the song ami going kar ami going kar actually uh, ami going kar It, it was a collaboration song, no, of Varun. Okay, okay. But so tell Ami us more about it. It is just a, yeah, it is it is just a call for the Goans to stay united, because right now the things are a little bit different. We were known for a communal harmony, you know, from from the Portuguese era till now. There have been religious festivals also wherein both community participate together. But yes. now somewhere down the line, the war has been created, no. so for that we had made the song ami goy kar ami we are goy kar we need to be together we are goy kar like that. the meaning of that song is to stay united and be proud of yourself to be one no? so that was the meaning ultimate meaning and that was the ek is needed somewhere down the line suno and later uh, so we need we need a wake up call actually because we are so god of with work and everything no? people tend to forget <laughs> and basically This, with the hatreds kind of the vibe is different right now so we need positive energy so the song kind of gave it to the people okay yeah. so how has the konkan community responded to your music rap yeah they have always been appreciative you know in konkani from pair name from the north to the south to kankana the konkani language itself is 36 more than 30 dialects okay then that also the christian community has a different way of uh, pronouncing 
but uh, i come from the north side bichulin taluka but then again there be some terminologies which the south goans won't understand but then again for the love of company they ask me sometimes the meaning of so and so word and they meaning they embrace and they share also with their friends and all right now the love for company is expressed from the people only you know because most of the goans are abroad and they they share the song they they share it with delight actually and in uh, in the parties of in uk uk goans how to celebrate sanjam and other parties you no know? festivals of goa they celebrate in uk and other parts of the world you no know? they also they play music share them content over there so yeah it is it is a good thing to yeah to be a part of the company community because somewhere down the line goans if you go to see the recent survey goa has been the first state to or to surrender the passport 40% of goans is surrender the passport no because we get yeah. the voting portuguese citizenship no so because of that the company has flourished worldwide actually and those of outside they are actually spending and showing the love by spreading our music also and so that is a good thing also language barrier somewhere i'm getting to yeah <laughs> yeah okay so as a rapper tell us about the kind of obstacles that were to come across obstacles and challenges especially yeah. specifically coming when, from when the you, konkan area yeah yeah yeah, yeah. thing in most of my songs are based on social issues and when you talk about social issues there's there are there resistance from the government government i'm on the government but then in the people supporting the government or the, the ones who don't want to do their work honestly because they are The corruption has been a part of this kind sure. of issue for a long time. No one, not, no one is talking about it. But the ones who talk about it are mainly facing the heat. No, so yeah, there were obstacles. There were things like I was told not to go. Then again, if you fear to spell the truth, then uh, whole life you're gonna live in fear. No, and you won't be able to achieve anything. So yeah, I thought like if I say the truth. Uh, why I need to why I need to like think twice if it's the truth why I need to think twice before adding it in my lyric so I did that many a time but then again there are good people also who support you who are they they be always telling you like you go and we are there with you know if tomorrow something happens you call on you give us a call man we gonna be it. like they support with their obstacles uh, other obstacles from uh, after the mining when I was kind of unemployed no so. to get the get the music done professionally and all was a big a financial head, uh, financial problem also. so then many 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 people like nilroy goel then again uh, jsf then um, fishy stone the two so all this this people voluntarily helped me out meaning assisting me with studio recording make my video the lafaga video was also made free from a guy who wanted to help me out the glafer we were just talking about okay so people pe- pe- people came out people came out listening to my music and on my sound they were like we want to make a video for you tell me what your suggestion so like the yeah, obstacle for the bit they but then again people people help me come out of that so okay. um, i'm glad i'm thankful to them also yeah oh, of course definitely okay so what are your future aspirations and goals yeah right now um I just want to right now the bad language barrier has has been lifted now but in the whole world because the Spanish songs are getting famous the uh, Afro beats are getting famous so I want Konkani to be on the map global map okay and for that I I need I need to actually make something something that stands out and something that will need a lot of uh, finance first of all. So of I'm trying to take one step, one step at a time right now, and maybe someday we'll collab with the famous celebrities one day, and there'll be a company rap also in the famous, in their of famous course. track, a featuring rap. <laughs> That is the main uh, wish right now. But let's see, it's getting better, and it will be there. It will be there. Of course, uh, I look forward yeah. to it. Okay, so lastly, what would be your yeah. advice to the aspiring rappers? No one's gonna come. Most of the people think that there will be some masia who's gonna come you and help you and really make you go on top. I mean, you reach the top. I mean, nothing happens like that. Life is cruel. World is cruel. People are selfish. So no matter what happens, you need to just hang in there. So me today you might be disrespected. Today the world will be not not giving you appreciation. But then again, for your persistence and your perseverance. 
some day down the line they will see how consistent and how determined you are and that is going to earn your respect thing is by projecting a fake image people get respect but that respect doesn't stay for long because no one can fake a life no fake a uh, fake a lifestyle for a long time so you know what so if you are being a if you want to be a rapper just be honest to yourself first and that honesty itself will um, i mean will be shown in your music and your rap and that will earn you respect fame is secondary respect is first that is my <laughs> main true, main true. thing okay okay thank you <laughs> yeah. so much amit it was uh, lovely talking to you thank you so much for your time i yeah, wish you all the best yes sir sure. so sure. thank you thank you for having